Hi friends, this is Crystal from Homemaking on the Homestead and in today's short quick little video I am going to show you how to make chicken stock in your Instant Pot. It comes together very quickly and it tastes so good, so flavorful. Uh, you can, I'm using a rotisserie chicken in the video but you can use just a regular chicken that you have baked in the and it's a great way to get a lot of use out of your chicken. After you're done with the meat you can take the bones, throw it into the Instant Pot and you'll have chicken stock in no time. So let's get going. I started making my stock by using a rotisserie chicken or what I had left of it, but you can use any kind of chicken, um, bones, meat, whatever you have. I tossed that into my Instant Pot and yes, I did remove the little string they used to hold the chicken together. After that, I add six cups of water and I put in a tablespoon of salt. You could add onions or anything, vegetables if you want, but I keep it pretty simple. I put the lid on. Make sure the knob at the top is set to sealing. I hit the manual button and then I run the time all the way up to 60 minutes. And then you just wait. The Instant Pot will come on automatically and you will see the word on instead of the time you have set. At that point, you're going to wait for the pressure valve at the top to rise to the top. This can take a little while, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes depending on how cold your ingredients are inside. But everything is coming up to pressure. Once it's come up to pressure, then the word on goes away and 60 minutes comes back and then it will count down until it's all done. And once it's done, it will beep several times to let you know it's done. At that point, you wait and you wait until the pressure valve at the top has dropped back down to the bottom. That's a natural pressure release. You just let it all sit there. And then when you take the lid off, there's what you have. You have your chicken and some nice looking broth. I strain it through a strainer that I just set in a bowl. And I couldn't really do that one handed. I was holding my camera, but then I separate it. And there's your chicken bones or meat if you have any in there and you have some lovely broth. This makes a little over six cups of chicken broth that you can then use or freeze in any way that you would like. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, could you give it a like? That helps me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, would you consider subscribing? That means a lot to me as well. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.